You're live. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures Live Feed. Don't you be looking at me in that tone of voice, woman. Mm -hmm. You're live. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ugly Oops. Dog Lures Live Feed. What in the God's name did you do now? <laughs> Don't you be looking at me in that tone of voice, woman. You're live. Well, hello, everybody. Oh. Welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures Live Feed. What in the God's name did you do now? <laughs> hey, Rick, I got to I gotta turn the volume off. Okay, are we good now? Well, I guess we'll find out. Everybody tell us out there if you can hear us okay. <laughs> oh, bunny. I guess they can. So we got several different things we're gonna do tonight. And I got this crazy clear belly series of baits that I'm coming out with. I thought that was super secret. Not no more. Really? You gonna let the cat out of the bag? Yeah. Poor cat. I'm going to. So, uh, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's paint a bait. Let's do a live paint. Do I have to sit here where you paint a bait or can I go back over there? You can go over there. That's just fine with me. So for Mr. Patrick Quick, we're going to make all of our own colors tonight. He says you're having a glitter party. I am. I've got holographic glitter now. And Ron says hi. Hi, Ron. So let's just paint us a bait here in this new series that I've been uh, dreaming up in my messed up mind. So we're going to use our paint pigments and we're going to make our own colors for this bait. Tonight is what we're going to do. It'll be something probably you had never seen before. We're going to be using green and silver. Then we're going to use violet and copper together to make our colors tonight. So let's get this kind of stirred up and get it going here. We got Darcy. Hi, Darcy. Cranking and yanking on. Hello, cranking. I still got my money on you, buddy. So, let's start off with our silver and our green. And we're only going to paint this bait halfway down to the lateral line on this bait is all that's going to be painted. So uh, let's just jump on in here and start making our colors. Get our pigment in there. I am shooting for a green silver on this particular bait for the sides. Then the back will be a different color. We'll put a spot of orange on the belly. Gonna be a fun little paint to do. Is that Mike Kelly? Hello, Mike. Chris Hansen. Hello, Chris. And Ernie Maddox. No, Ernie. You can say hello to him while I'm a mixing. <laughs> Jen. Hi, Jen. Hello, everybody. So Ron said, hi, everybody. So let me get this mixed and we'll start getting it laid on this bait. So y'all can see it's between silver and green. Although y'all can't see it because that camera is not set up. So my <laughs> bad. Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello. That's a. Darken that just a touch more. But I'm going to use just a touch, a couple of drops of lime green to get my color that I want. There's Terry Wade. Oh, Terry, there's two drops in there. And that's going to give us the shimmer in the side. So let's keep on a mix in here. It ain't going to take us too long to paint this bait. 
it's a pretty simple and fast paint. I know I say that a lot, but it really is. Let's see how we're running here. Yeah, it's still a little bit heavy. Can you show them our color there, honey? Without dumping it out on top of everything? <laughs> no. So that's our first color. It won't focus. That's all right. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's pretty. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little bit blowed on this here, bait. Certainly going to be different. Did you find out while I'm doing this, if anybody would like to be on our live feed next Thursday? No. No? Okay. Bunch of. And let's throw us another another code on it. John says that's pretty. Yeah. Is it pretty as a banding beer truck? No, evidently that's the prettiest. It is. Just ask a redneck. So it's like Melissa said, this is my, uh, it's going to have a clear belly on it. It's kind of a new series that I've been working out. That's coming out. When I get this one done, I'll show you the first one that I did. Well, I guess she can show you now. This is the first one I played with. And I made the colors for it myself. Uh, I don't have enough hands. Did you just say you're old? No, I said I don't have enough hands. <laughs> Hey, you be nice to the lures. Okay. I smack you on top of the head and bring both your ankles. You know you're talking to the woman that's about to go put them underneath my truck tire and run over them. That's just because you're mean to lures. No, I'm going to test them to see You're how mean to up. senior citizens and yep. fishing baits. Yep. Because I'm surrounded by them. I can't escape them. No, you can't. <laughs> So how's everybody's week been? I guess mine's been all right. Mine's been crazy busy. I'll tell you how my week went. Got up Sunday morning. My back was bothering me a lot. Didn't even come to the shop on Sunday. That's a cardinal sin for me. Went to work Monday morning, was home by, what is it, noon? Probably, yeah. I was hurting so damn bad, and I passed a kidney stone Monday evening. So that's how my week has been. Hey, at least it's gone. It is gone. I mean, you could still be laid up in bed whining all the time. That hurt. That was terribly painful. So our next pigment set we're going to use is going to be a lavender pigment and copper pigment, antique copper pigment. 
and see what color we come up with. So Ron um, is my new peanut gallery. He says that I'm mean to youngins like him too. Okay. <laughs> You really can't see it, but look on top of the microwave, Ron, and there's a big lure on display. Yeah. Isn't that great? It, the case isn't here yet, but it's still up there. Now, have you ever seen what color purple and copper make together? Uh, purple and copper? Yes. Coppery purple? I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. Jen says her week is okay. Uh huh. I said Jen says her week was okay. Well, um, Cranking and yanking said ouch. Yeah, it was very, very painful. He just likes to whine a lot. But I survived it. There is copper and purple. Look at that color. Oh, man, my uncoordinated mess again. You guys see that? Oh, yeah, that is gorgeous. Yep. Love, love, love. Here. What'd you call me? I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the paint. Well, I thought maybe he was talking to Ron. No. He doesn't like me. He says I'm mean. So, there's our copper purple. Made up with our pigments. Ooh. He finally saw the lure. Did he? That's awesome. So is uh, Small Waters here? Nope, not yet. Not yet. Okay, here we go with our purple. Yes, Hanson, I am very mean to you, too. Wow. Wine, 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 wine. You get to buy me dinner because you're whiny tonight. There's small water. Hi, guys. Tell John I got a big one, too. <laughs> well, you just told him, so he's he's got it. Well, what do you think of that, baby? That is pretty pretty. Pretty, pretty. It's pretty fat boy. Feed that down just a hair more. On that side. That's pretty damn nice. That's gonna be a good looking damn bait. Mm -mm -mm. I almost grabbed the stuff and squirted the bait. <laughs> Very nice. Look at there. Oh, my uncoordinatedness again. Wait till the epoxy gets on it here in a minute. We're not, not done painting it. <clears throat> oh, I don't like seeing focus. See, that's one of the good things and the bad things about being live is if you accidentally squirt the bait, then. Oh well, the they'll forgive me because I'm a senior citizen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caitlin says, hey, Goose, Caitlin Prophet. Uh, hello. Okay. John says, it's been a busy week. I like your new theme song, though. That's pretty yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look like a lot of fun out there. Yeah. So I'm going to have a whole series of these coming out in all different colors. This clear belly series. Uh, 
pretty quick. I've been working on them, figuring some things out, and moving in different directions. Now, I just want a touch of this orange right under the throat of this bait. Well, then that's not a clear belly. That's not his belly. It's his throat. That's false advertisement. So I'm going to false advertise you in a minute. <laughs> Ron, you need to start taking up for me. Just a touch. John's important. He had a phone call. He had to be right back. Okay. Cool. So we'll start painting. And we'll start down on the tape. And just want to put a little bit of orange up in there. And you wonder why I mean to you, Ron. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Ron told me blah, blah, blah. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Now I'm using a transparent orange on this bait. See, just a touch under the throat. False advertisement. Kenna is too papa. Ron, she wouldn't let me wear my Viking hat tonight. We need to get on to her. No, it's Goose. Why? Where did I misspell it? <laughs> did you put our featured? Oh, so Caden asked, is your actual name Goose? I shoot you. No, Goose is the nickname that his Uncle Norman gave him when he was a little boy. <laughs> He's cruel. He's cruel? He's calling me cruel. Oh, wrong. I'm calling him whiny. Okay. <laughs> Jim's telling us to be nice. <laughs> you get him, Jim. <laughs> I think that's the way that they communicate. I don't communicate with him. He's mean to me. All right. So what everybody think of Cody's lure he painted? Not too shabby for his first shot out of the barrel. Yeah. So it's pretty. Okay. He said um, that would be a cool name. Told me to let you have your moment. Thank you, Caden. See, Caden's taking up for senior citizens, too. He's a good young man. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he told Jen, no, that we're not going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we're going to get our sepia out. And we're going to use a few drops of sepia on this bait. If that's okay with Melissa. That's so I get a little bit of darkness around the eyes. Come here, little light. There you go. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. Caden says that his dad jokes around and asks for senior discounts all the time, and the workers usually give it to him, but he's only 42. <laughs> I get him too. Yeah, buddy. I like my senior discounts. Very 
pretty nice. Okay. And do our thing. You have a thing? Yes. I have a lot of things. <laughs> because I get the senior discount without having to ask for it just because I walk in the door with him. Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> now y'all see why I have a gray hair. Okay. Let's he set those eyes, pull that tape off, throw some eyes on it, some poxy, and see what we got when we're done. I think this bait's begging for red eyes, too. And Jason said in high school, his dad was always late, so he brought the secretary a sausage biscuit to count him on time. <laughs> <laughs> that is something you would do. <laughs> yep. It is. Okay. So what are y'all thinking about this crazy bait so far? Looking pretty good, I think. But wait. It does get better. Okay, this is we're buffering. Dang it. Open that door and it'll quit. Yeah, we're in a metal building, so I have a extra little USB internet boost. Sometimes it doesn't always work. There's our red eyes. There's some big old red eyes. Yeah, they certainly are. Okay, next step in this is we're going to put some poxy on this dude. This is our next little step in here. And add our glitter. Y'all can tell me what you think about it. The other ones that I painted are already gone, except for the one. I have a new friend. He's my friend. You can't have him. He's already left you and came to the dark side. No. He fishes uh, a lot of tournaments, and he has one whole tackle box dedicated to ugly dog lures. Yeah, I think I created a monster with him. Every time I paint one, he's over here to see what we got, and he buys them, and he pays cash. Ernie, he says he hit the senior discount age this year. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Charlie doesn't wait. He just he has Cody trained to tell him he's a senior citizen. Oh, get a little bit of this holographic glitter in here. Oh, seriously, in Kentucky they have a license you can pay five dollars for that makes you a senior citizen. Cool. Uh, that's messed up. If I knew how. To do anything with computers, I can go make my own too. So now we get our epoxy all mixed up good here. Did you get chat yet? From Ron? The lure you want? No, it's not here yet. No, not yet. You can tell me I hadn't shipped this stuff because I'm working on something for Jen and I have to put it in a big flat rate box. What cartoon, Caden? He says the cartoon is pixely. Oh, brother. 
Now it's going to get really big and wobbly. What is that? Ron says he ordered a special tackle box for all your lures today. <laughs> okay. A moment of truth, folks. Clear belly, little orange. Little colors I made up. This holographic glitter on it. And I'll do some without glitter and oh, some okay. with glitter. Goose is pixelated. Is that better? I don't think there's cartoons, John. I think I'd be excited about that, too, if there were. I am a cartoon. <laughs> Which cartoon are you? Mr. Magoo. No, you're not Mr. Magoo. I'm blind as he is. I think you're more of the little yellow bird in the Snoopy cartoons. You know, because he just goes and does whatever the heck he wants to do. And then he asks for forgiveness later. That's so you. Um, I wonder why. We'll have to send John some glitter. He says glitter makes him feel pretty when he wears it. All right. Me too, John. I got some guys that won't buy bait without the glitter on them and some that hate it. So I'll try to do both ways. Uh, especially on just to get that little bit of extra pump into them. There you go, Melissa. Hey, yeah, I got to add the thing to the thing to the deal to the what should we do? The door and it'll go away. Oops, I got the Viking helmet in there. Did it go away? Yep. There you go, folks. Crap. Live paint number two. Melissa breaking everything number 1,140. Seven. What do you think? It's not working. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Is it working now? Yay! Okay. Well, there we go. Be careful. Okay, now I can't do this for sure. No, there we go. Clear bellies. He doesn't like me. He don't? No. That's all right. Now. <laughs> I like your sauce cup, but it doesn't like me. Let me move my cup. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good view of it, but to get away from me before I break something. Okay. Okay, we're going to hang her over here to dry. And 
tell you what, there's so much crap in this shop. Oh, here's a couple of swim baits that I've done this week. This one's not a clear belly. It's just a, it's just a, just a shiner. Just a, just a, just a, just a shiner. Crank and the says it's pretty cool. It needs a kill spot on it. Ah, uh, shad dot. I thought about. I'll have some with shad dots, but not all. And there's a clear belly and a silver and a green right there and a big swim bait. Oh, I will put sad dots on some of them. Okay. We can set the computer up over here if you want to. Boss lady. And see what we got from sugar tip this week. Drop. I don't know. Uh, okay. Then we can just put the link out there. If anybody wants to come on, they can come on. Over there That's the antenna that keeps going out. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Get the boss moved over here. And let's see what we got in from Sugar Tit this week. I got more supposed to be here tomorrow. I think this is my box. I don't think that's your box. They're all your boxes, Melissa. No, I know, but I think that's my stuff, not your stuff. This? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He's going to claim it, I think, whether it's mine or yep. his. I can get the damn thing open. Talk about packaged. Whew, yeah. That's packaged pretty well. Sugar Tit really loves us. Oh, look. Uh-oh. He sent us a free one. Oh. Holographic poop. That's pretty. And he sent us another sticker. Cool. I can have one for my tackle box. We got plenty of those. <laughs> we'll be getting some more next week because I'm fishing place a big order. There you go. That's your stuff. It is. That's what you ordered. All mine. Got more tails. Hula poppers. And I bought more poppers. Yep. Love, love, love. Got 15 of them in this time. I might give you one or two. Okay. Maybe. I'll probably have my own down there anyway. This is the, the blank that I'm doing for 4th of July. Yep. Anyway, sugar tip. Yeah, you guys are, are painters. Be sure to look him up. He's got some really, really quality baits. Uh, I really like them. I love this spook. It's all. That's a foil spook. Oh, he even sent me eyes. And looky, looky, looky here. So that's <laughs> gonna be fun, fun, fun. Okay. okay. I will there we go. Nope, that didn't work. That's all right. Oh there it is. See now you can show them up close. I don't know how. I don't either. That little deep dive rattle trap. Hang on. There it is. Yeah. Nope, it doesn't like it for some reason. That's all right. Maybe because that one's still on. 
There's a little deep diving rattle trap. And there's the holographic okay. spook. Foiled. It's foiled. It's, it's holographic. Yeah. It's a, what they call a foiled spook. So, I bet that's going to get painted and that's going in the ugly dog tackle box. Okay. Um, well, yeah, now we'll turn it back on the camera. So, I ain't going to touch that thing, folks. <laughs> this ain't my thing. I'm just leaving it on that. So I got a bunch of jerk baits supposed to be coming in tomorrow. I hope they do. I'm getting kind of short on jerk baits. Then I'm gonna order a bunch of DT 110s and and what have you here this week. Uh, but if any of you guys are painters, look at Sugar Tit. Uh, they are really good quality baits and. They seem to all run real true, so that's a good thing about them that I like. You know, I've said it before, when I first started painting, I bought the cheap knockoffs just to learn on, and then I have moved up from there. So, and I've learned quite a bit. So, if I knew how to put this back on that camera, that's where I could see what y'all were saying, I would, but I don't have a clue. Her phones are ringing. So. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. So I guess y'all just gonna talk to me right here. <clears throat> so yeah, had me kidney stones this week. That wasn't much fun. Passed one Monday night, and then I passed another one about four o'clock Tuesday morning. So feel a lot better today though. Next month's going to be a great month for me. I only work four days a week all month. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's off for the whole month. Unless something goes awry at work. So I have a bunch of sick time that I have to get used up or I'm fishing going to lose it. So I decided what better way than just take days off, you know, with pay. So that's going to be a great time for me. I'm going to get a lot of a lot of work done out here so work tomorrow and then start four days a week after that and i'm off five days for memorial day so be able to get a lot of filming done what have you we got a pretty good uh challenge coming out saturday night so that's going to be a lot of fun for that guy uh all my walleye guys are wanting me to paint some more walleye baits, so we're going to come up with some crazy thing in our head and start painting some walleye baits, too. So, that's the plan. So, I don't know how to do none of this, so I can't even see what y'all are saying. So she'll be back in a minute, I think. Maybe I just push the X. That's what I'm going to do. So... There we are. Ooh. Ernie, I guarantee you, uh, you're really going to like the baits coming from them. I I buy a lot from him. <clears throat> Usually takes him seven days to get here. But I think he's in North Carolina and I'm all the way in New Mexico, so I'm halfway across the country. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to buy a bunch more from him. I'm going to do that tonight when we get done here. Go in and buy a bunch. My guys are really been hitting us hard here at the shop buying baits. So I got to get a bunch more painted up. I know I got quite a few behind me, but I had a whole 
big grocery sack full and now it's just got a few in the very bottom of it yeah ernie i'm finding that out too it's pretty hard to find baits right now and uh yeah uh you can get some from him lureartsonline.com is a pretty good one I prefer sugar tit, but that's where I buy most most of my stuff. Dinger may have some stuff too. I haven't checked their website in a while. So I'm gonna look tonight and see get another order put in. So, Darcy, how are you tonight? Uh, some of my people at work today brought me some uh, green chilies. And them suckers so hot, I'm still having heartburn from them six, seven hours later. Uh, I haven't never bought anything from Barlow's. Uh, they might have them run. I'm not real sure. Be worth checking into. If they're a, of a quality bait, you know, that runs true without having to tune the bait. And it's not hard to tune a bait. I mean, you just twist around on, the, on it a little bit. So, so yeah, that's a, it's a lot of fun. I tell you what, I just have so much fun out here doing this, and and uh, I'm enjoying playing with the pigments and making some different colors. Uh, but like I was saying, I got a whole series of that clear belly coming out. There'll be a lot of them with shad dots and some without, and uh, what have you. So we're gonna do some green, some green backs, and we'll do some blues and blacks, and just just play with it. Uh, Sorry, I had to work for a minute. She better quit working. You have a wealthy husband. I just don't know who the hell he is. A wealth of information or a wealth yeah, of smart yeah. assery. But yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of breast you gonna buy, Ernie? Cedar Run. Cedar Run's good baits too. We have actually bought a couple of different styles from Cedar Run. This is a long time ago. Yeah, it's been a year or better since I bought, but I'm certainly going to be looking looking for them. Are you playing with the baits? I uh, know Ron did that. I wish you guys could see this. Cody back. can fish his lure if he wants to. That's his lure. We have no say over that, Ron. Uh, really? When he fishes his lure... I'm going to show you my big one. I got a big one, too. He's not fishing his door. I got a big old huge lure, too. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> See, he makes the mistake of putting my name on it. Yeah. That way the fish will really like it. Ooh, tasty morsels. <laughs> this was uh, made for me by New Hope, by Mr. Ron, and he sent it to me. It's not weighted or nothing. It's it's just a, something for me to play around with. But it, it's pretty good size. It's probably seven, eight, nine inches long. I hate that camera. <laughs> he put our name on one side. Then it has ugly dog on the other side, but he it has a dog paw. He calls carved that, and then the eyes it has an M on one side and it has a C on the other side, and then it has an ugly dog paw right there. That's funny. So I didn't notice that. It's nine thing. inches, is what it is. Feet is a little broken up tonight. I look forward to every Thursday now. I apologize for that, Darcy. Uh, we're in a metal building. We're in a metal building. My shop is a metal building. I've been trying to beg the wife to buy me a new one. No. I want a 14 or a 16 by 40. No. But it's, it's going to happen one of these days. No. So, 
But yeah, that was a made for me by Ron. Totally shocked me when it came. And it has glitter. And it has glitter. So, Ron, we greatly appreciate that, buddy. And it has a stand. And it has a stand. That it sits so. on. And does it go in the water? I'm going to set that over there before I stick one of those hooks through my hand. And I have to get cranking to come help me get it out. John damn sure not helping you. I, I, no. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> I had my head under the covers. I had to leave the room the other day. No. Nope. Mm -mm. So uh, tonight we're uh, featuring New Hope, Real Big Dog 91, Small Water Charters, Daddy Duck 365, and Backwoods Hillbilly Fishing. So uh, y'all be sure that y'all go and subscribe to them and support them. And uh, let's see if we can get them all more support. Uh, I'm sure they greatly appreciate it. Uh, and if you're a fellow YouTuber, most of them will subscribe back. And uh, it's just a great time. We got to support everybody on here. So hog deer and turkey tracks. Yep. Chris says that the focus is better on the computer than it is on the camera. I wonder why. I don't know. Probably because it's closer. Maybe. So does anybody have any questions? Hmm. every thursday yeah darcy i do too i enjoy getting on here and we won't do a live paint every thursday but we will do quite a few we just know we're going to go live every thursday we just know we're going live and if you're a fellow uh youtuber we'd love to have you and, and tell everybody what you do uh we're going to have Small Waters. We're going to have New Hope coming on at some time with us. Uh, it'll be a great time. Just need to go and support them. Oh, they're hog, deer, and dog tracks. Oh, yeah. turkey dog. Is there such a thing as a turkey dog? I've never seen a turkey dog. Yeah. I mean, my dog's funny. Like I've seen him at damn Walmart. I don't think he day. looks like a turkey. Uh, cranking, I use mustad hooks. I used to use e eagle claw, uh, laser sharps, but it got to where eagle claw wouldn't deal with me. I tried to get them to sell me bulk. hooks in bulk of a thousand at a time, and they won't do it, so I switched to mustads. And this is the mustad. That's some of them. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Uh, That's number sixes. These are sixes. And don't you love that? That's why I donate so much DNA. Yep, that's the way I get, buddy. You're exactly <laughs> right. I like mustads too. Uh, I have buried a lot of those laser sharps in through my finger, like you did the other day, trying to hook them up. I have done that a lot. I've ruined clothes. Yeah. I've ruined more clothes. Well, you like to buy clothes anyway. And when she gets an old shirt that she don't like, I figured this out. See, I'm not crazy, but she'll come out here and she'll put a hook in it and tear it. And that means she gets to go to the Hobby Lobby or wherever you go and uh, really buy new ones. Hmm. Must <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna try that one. Nope. Yeah, those. The split rings uh, we buy from several different different places. Uh, I it's get quite a few of them. You can buy them at. Uh, I think that the. Uh, da, 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 let me see. I'm trying to remember which one I buy them. Bought them from last. Melissa ordered them so. <clears throat> But don't ever buy the split rings from Hobby Lobby and think they'll work because they'll pull right out. When we first started, I did that. I thought, I'm uh, all happy. Look, I found split rings. Oh I wouldn't goodness. even put them on a necklace. My mind yeah. just went blank. I can't remember. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, it's somebody laughing at me. No, I can't. I can't either. I can't. It's been a year since I've had to order split rings because I order so damn many of them at a time. Uh, was it rock? I don't know. I'm going to have to look because yeah, I really don't know. Yeah, it was rock. We ordered like 7,000 of them or something. Yes, it was. I mean. We won't need them for a while. Yeah. And then, the if, uh, yeah, oh, they so are. Now, now I'm hungry, hungry John. Mm -hmm. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to Cook's and have me some apple cobbler. Right? Uh, I don't know. John, can I borrow some money to get her some cobbler? <laughs> it's like $11 <laughs> a plate of yeah. ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, the split rings. I remember it, Ernie, and I, I'll let you know. Yeah, because I don't. I'll remember. have to go back through my books. I mean, I just—I probably got enough split rings to last me two more years <laughs> out here because I ordered seven thousand fours, fives. I ran out of the big, big ones that you use, but. You haven't had any of those big, big baits. And I say big, big, they're like. Uh, yeah, I, I got some they're of They're tiny big. Yeah, these are these are the ones I use for my eight inch lures right here. Is that split yeah, that ring is. right there? That's pretty good size. And that sucker's tough to get on too because it is stiff. Mm -hmm. And the little cheap pliers work better. Lindia said John had homemade peach cobbler for dinner. I'm jealous. Oh, Lindia. Hmm. I made cherry cobbler Sunday. Yeah, he did. And then he ate all of it. I got like one little plate. Like little plate. Yeah, it's always me that does it. <laughs> and I put it into a container and I hid it in the refrigerator and he ate it all. all. That's driving me so nuts fun. that I can't remember the name of that. It's a short drive? Yes, it is. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> Rock something, rock hill. I really don't remember. I can't remember either, but I'll let you know, Ernie. Mm, I really cannot remember. I think Sugar Tit is selling them now too. The split rings, fours, fives, sixes, it's different sizes. Have glitter on your nose. Leave my nose alone, woman. Come here. Nope. <laughs> you lost your damn mind. Long time ago. Yes. Yes. Me too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So what all you uh fellers got planned for Mother's Day? Did you tell him about Cody's birthday? No, I did not. So Cody turned twenty six. Yeah. He's old. Yeah, he turned twenty six yesterday. He's ready for you to retire so he can take over now. Do I just get to leave and move to Florida and leave his ass here? Mm, no, he says he's going with you. Damn. Damn. <laughs> so after July, <sighs> I'm going to start buying all the stuff for the worms. We are? Yes, we are. He just knows how many houses I have under contract. He's all he's already spending all that money. Hmm. You spent enough of mine in the last twenty six years. No. You know, you think things like food. No. And Sonic. No. Is all things that you have to have to survive. Yes. <laughs> so so Actually, you know what? I, that reminds me of something. I was um, I was looking at our stats the other day. We are almost at four thousand watch hours. We're at like thirty five hundred watch hours. Yeah. I think we should do some kind of giveaway at four thousand watch hours. Okay. We're not. We're probably not going to make our thousand subs by July. But no, we will never make that by July. But we did. We are close to the four thousand hours. So yeah. It, it, but I want to do it a little bit different. I think I want to 
Hello, living in them doubt outdoors. How are you tonight, buddy? Um, I think I want to do it like uh, Coastal Fever did his to where he does the hashtag. and So you have to comment and hashtag. Okay. Whatever you want to do, what are we giving away? Um, A date with me? They'd bring you back. Probably. Depending on which credit card I was talking around. Hmm. So. Yeah, July, Ron, is going to be an interesting month. <laughs> yeah, it'll be our one-year anniversary in July yep. for Ugly Dog Lures. And we'll do the challenge with uh, New Hope Fishing Lures. And hopefully, June, we do the 4000 hour giveaway. I say we, I say we give away baits. I like to give away baits because then people send me pictures of them fishing, even if I can't use them, like okay. you know, online. Okay, so this is what we'll do when we hit our 4,000 watch hours. I'll send you six baits, mm. and they're all going to be the Clearwater series. So nice. that's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. so, so when we get through with this video tonight. And we need to redraw the 500. Oh, I don't know where the I do. Are. The bucket's right here. Mm -hmm. Because he never got a hold of us. We gave him plenty of time. So we're going to redraw for the five 500 subscriber giveaway tonight. Uh, I got the bucket here. His name's out of it now. So uh, that's a do some chicken up. I got to get the ugly dog around there. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll get back with you in the middle on how to enter that. Oops. Now I got to shake the damn thing again. Okay, draw. I'm going to smack the snar water out of you in a minute. I wanted everybody to win. Uh, I don't know where the box is. It's over there somewhere. I don't know. It's there. It's there somewhere. Uh, v, v -L -J. V -I -V -J -Key -Watt. Yeah. It's who she drawed. So I drew. So uh, we'll give him a... Be sure to go to Ugly Dog and uh, leave your address so we can send these to you. And if you don't, we will redraw uh, on next Thursday's live show again. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the guy. Okay. So V I J A Y K E W I T A T A T. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there so don't lose so, it. He's so been absolutely. a subscriber since April second. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so about the 4,000 hours on this video when we get done, uh, open it back up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too, John. <laughs> Y'all are weird. Uh, open it back up and leave a comment. Um, hashtag, what do we do? Hashtag. Uh, hashtag. The bait that bites back. That's our slogan. Yep. Hashtag. Yeah, hashtag the bait that bites back. Yeah, let me type that in here. Yeah, I ain't typing that in. <laughs> You're putting spaces. Mm -hmm. John's got it. Yeah. Yep, that's it, John. It's not as good as Doc's because Doc's is just epic, but. Yeah. Well, it suits me. It's something. Y'all can figure out all of that computer crap y'all want to. <laughs> I'll just sit here and paint. See, Lindy, I got it right. It has no spaces. Yeah. So here it is right here. Now, if you guys don't know what hashtags are, they're search targets. So 
I can go on if you ever use Ugly Dog Lures hashtag or the Bait That Bites Back hashtag in your posts. I can find them. Okay. Good. And it links right back to us. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, we'll be giving away the Clear Belly series and nothing but six different styles. We'll have jerk baits. I don't have that cranks. many fingers. How, how do you count it? Six. There's five. <laughs> and <then> six. <laughs> hash browns. Yeah, really? hashtag hash, hash browns sounds pretty good. Oh, so. what am I going to do with you guys? You're a mess. Yes. You knew that when you married us. Us? Yeah. Married you. I have multiple personalities. Yes, you do. I should give Sorry. you credit for that. Wow. Brown ash. <laughs> so has anybody got any questions? They would like to ask Melissa? Not me. I'm camera shy. So we're at 525 subs now. Are we really? Yes. It was like at 505 when I looked at it last. Yep. That's amazing. Love that. Yep. Yep. And it if is. anybody, uh, when you're looking through your feed, if you see this little box uh, that has the channel, uh, it'll have a video with the channel name, and then it has five little stars underneath it. If you see any of your buddies' videos come up, doesn't matter if you've watched it or not. Leave that five star because that boosts the channels and the analytics like crazy. Uh, Ernie, though, <laughs> I don't know. I got I got new ones. Look, aren't they cute? <laughs> I would have gotten more, but the lady that owns the store where I get my stuff, her. Her mom or mother-in-law passed away this last week, so they were closed. Bless their hearts. We've been really worried about them. Ernie, uh, I like it okay. I've got several different ones. I probably got ten of them over in that drawer, different types. You think it's we're gonna get you to five hundred here pretty quick, John? <laughs> so. I don't know me. I love watching Lindia catch fish. Yeah, yeah, I love it more when the boys whine about it because I, I look forward to they whine a lot to everybody's videos. <laughs> I mean, you watch TV and it's just yeah. I just go watch YouTube. Yes, we do. Yeah. Uh oh, we got a notification that somebody posted a video. Backwoods Hillbilly just posted a video and it sent me a notification. Yep. Awesome. Cool. I think I heard mine going off. Yeah, look, Charlie's is up there too with a new subscriber. Ooh. How great is that? I'll add more whining. Heck yeah. <laughs> add more arguing. That'll get them. No, and I like the new camera that you got, Lindia, that's up on your shoulder. That's a great view. Yeah. That little tail fishing pole, just every five seconds, that thing's pulling up. Mm-hmm. Yes, Ernie, they are single-action brushes. Oh, the airbrushes? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Small Waters, a uh, hillbillies posted yesterday. It takes that long to get out here to us. Oh, it did. It just it just now posted for us. It did. Yeah. Huh. And New Hope wants to know when you're going to paint him a lure, Melissa. Ain't going to happen. Why are you being mean to Ron? The reason I have lures from Ron is because I won his contest. So, I won them. The shootout video. Is that the one that they just posted? Who? Yeah, Billy, the shootout. Um, I don't know. 
I hate to open it because I'm going to have to pause it and I don't want to mess with your analytics. Warning, this video contains two good old boys using not so good language. I love that. It's suitable for your kids or them uppity folk. Now y'all know better than that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, okay. Short and sweet extras is what it is. So it's four days ago. And you just now get notification? I am. I don't know why. He called you a butthead. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's my phone, not me. I watched the shootout video this afternoon. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I, I keep crashing my phone, so I'm going to have to get a new one uh, because I over-app them. Because I, yeah. I load them down. Uh, pictures and apps and... Looking at houses and whatnot, yeah. it just... The Big Cypress is the one that I watched this afternoon when I got home from work. So, everybody needs to go check those guys out there. They're hilarious. I yeah. haven't seen that one yet. He watched it without me. Yeah. She so was uh, watching some murder thing. But it's called Sinner on Netflix. Have you guys seen it? It's crazy weird. Crazy Yes, we love this song. Oh, no, you have a song. I didn't see your song. It's on the videos. Honey. Love it. I see. I haven't seen his new song. I've seen John's new song. That well, you better to... catch up. Well, I'm a slacker. I've been working. I'll get her to paint you one, Ron. One of these years. <laughs> it's so old. <laughs> I feel like such a slacker because it's so old. I even I turn him on and I I listen. You know, I set him off to the side and listen to him when I don't have time to watch him. I did that with Caden's video today. I said hi to him and then I I sat there and listened to him. He fishes on his game. Oh, he sings his. Mm, we're going to have to go listen to it now. See, that's where I watched it. I commented on it. Appreciate you stopping by. So. Yeah, see, he says he doesn't know or like electronics, but he'd be lost without his phone. No, I wouldn't. Cody likes the name, by the way. He kept the name, the Lava Frog. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did his video on Monday. We put it out. And then on Wednesday, he turned 26. So There's his lava frog he painted. I know. <laughs> so pretty. I got to get hooks put on it for him. Nothing like what he was telling us he wanted. Nope. Not even close. <laughs> what does Chris want? Are you crazy? You get in here and you get in the shop and you paint yourself one. You haven't done that either. And we've had this shop for how many years now? Mm -hmm. Y'all are funny. Mr. <laughs> Flat. You know, um, before we started, I'm going to go way back up here. Ron was telling us that to keep, okay, who was not Ron, that we were supposed to keep in our prayers because his gun blew up in it, in his face? Well, we've had that, like the shop here for a year. <laughs> oh, he knows firsthand. He's gotten up from a restaurant and left before because I'm so mean to him. Well. I keep whining because his girlfriend like, keeps him around. It's been like 10 years. I've been trying to get her to get does, rid of him for forever. Does she keep him around or does he keep her around? Well, I'm on her side, so she keeps him around. No, I'm on his side, so he keeps her around. Well, then we agree to disagree. Yeah. Kentucky Ballistics. Really? 
Really? Chris is mean. So how mean I am to Chris, we went on vacation to Rio Doso a few years ago. And I thought it would be fun to take paints and everybody paint rocks. So we go down to the little creek and we pick out our rocks and we clean them up. And I painted Chris. <laughs> I still have my rock, Chris. Green t-shirt. Mm -hmm. yep. Brown hair. Mm -hmm. I just cooked. I didn't paint. <laughs> I use him to tell what kind of weather that we ha we're having. What's Darcy getting that Canadian tower? You hear birds. Mm hmm Not it. <laughs> yeah, we wow. have some neat birds. We have a bunch of big trees around us and pretty, pretty birds until it's 4 o'clock in the morning and they decide they want to play in the water outside our window. In the I'm more back. jealous of him here, though. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Women. I, I agree, buddy. I like being scary. I got my bluff in. What's in your head? You it have something in, in your ocean. head? You don't have nothing in your head. Don't be trying to tell people that. You better watch talking <laughs> him crap. He'll hit you with that machete. Uh Nah, I'm far enough away. Right? There you go, Lindia. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Especially goosey ones. <laughs> hey. You need to be nice. <laughs> what happened to Sky? Know. Is she okay? Oh, I hope so. Goodness sakes. She's not allowed to do that. No. I guarantee you, I don't know what's going on. Uh, around here, but there's been more wrecks. <laughs> He's struck a nerve. Around here in the last few weeks and I've seen in the last two years. Yeah. I mean, it's been crazy. You know, we live in a pretty small town and for them to divert traffic five blocks out of the way. Jen likes your flip flops. Thank you. Oh, three stitches. Good. Well, uh, what are the, what do you call those? War scars or war? Yeah. War badges or something. He has a name for them. I can't remember. War badges. Anytime I I get a scratch or anything, it's like, oh, it's good. Well, you're not too upset about it if you're laughing at it, girlfriend. <laughs> I don't think that that nerve was really struck that hard. No. Mm -mm. No. But she's right. She's more right than Charlie is. <sighs> Probably. Most people are. Now you got good right here. I don't care. You're right there. That's why God invented a shower. I don't think that glitter's going to come out. Where's the tweezers? I'm going to slap the. P water out of you in a minute, woman. <laughs> you keep touching your face. You got glitter freaking everywhere. Just don't this, be touching me. That's glitter's all. my life. Mm, like Patrick started off the video, he said, "Glitter party." Sky wouldn't have laughed. Yeah, me too, Lindy. <clears throat> I like wearing sparklies. The glitter. I could totally do without glitter. Strippers. Ow. Not glitter. Yeah. See. <laughs> no. She's laughing at me. <laughs> yep, glitter's pretty nice. <laughs> You guys haven't even seen all the glitter that he has. I mean, we have a row of glitter up there. We have two boxes of glitter back here. There's glitter paint up here. It, it's just glittery. You know that, that guy that makes the glitter bombs that when people steal packages and all that glitter comes out? We could fill like a hundred of those. I should. said strappers, Ron, not strippers. 
Oh, you got that oh, right, Lindy. Wow. Or John. Uh -huh. I never knew that. Look at all the glitter he has. He's no, in trouble now. It don't. Uh, if you if you use fine glitter and don't get real coarse glitter, it don't make the bait rough at all. The holographic so. glitter does a little bit, yeah, see, but usually when rough. you. Usually when you brush it on, it goes in one direction or the other. So it's not as bad. Yeah. Not rough at all. And the other the other is so fine you can't even really see it other than it sparkles. Decals do make the boat faster. Hmm. <laughs> Sky. Yeah, it don't take much. I just put just barely a little in it to make it to where it's not clumpy yeah it's just a pinch. it'll get clumpy and i put it in the epoxy so just a pinch and i made the mistake when i painted my first one with glitter is i put the glitter in the cup first and then put the epoxy down and it didn't um didn't mix it mix it. it like it got caught up in the you know in the cup in the bottom of the cup yeah so now he puts in the epoxy and then I add the glitter and then this this go lures, yeah. We have a couple of those from where we overdid it at first. Yeah. You gotta figure it out. You gotta play with it. Right? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. He sure did. <laughs> I think he liked rhinestones more glitter and yeah sparklies yeah yeah i'm not old enough to know who elvis was right in new mexico we are in the high plains of new mexico karate move really yep <laughs> You're a mess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Makes Thursday night fun, don't it? I'm in the garage. <laughs> mm -mm. We're out here in the dirt and rattlesnakes. Mm -hmm. At least we don't have fire ants. Yet. We do have some pretty nasty ants. They like to bite at me. Yep. Yep, be yep, buddy. And ticks and snakes. That's what we have. <laughs> Pretty much, Terry. Yes, it's oh. uglydoglures.com. Yes. Nope. I thought I had a ticker with it on there, but I don't have a ticker with it on there. I'll make a ticker with it on there. You'll make a ticker with it on there. You know, it's a really expensive computer, and my G doesn't work. You ordered it out. Probably. Oops, there's grandma. There you go. Okay, how do I get out of that? <laughs> Hi, grandma. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Well, now I don't know what the hell to do to get out of it. I hate computers. There, I got out. John, have a blessed evening, buddy. Did you break it or did I, I break probably it? probably did. 
Right? Don't I don't dare ignore Grandma. I mean, we we <laughs> have a couple of shirts now. Uh, Lisa can show you one. Um. But if you're interested, just let her know, and she'll have you one made. You can choose your color. Yeah, because right now I'm just having one at a time made. Yeah. Yeah, don't ignore Grandma. Good Lord, no. Mm -mm. No. That's not going to happen. Absolutely not. She is, she is a very sweet lady. She called Cody to wish him happy birthday because he was working last night. Yeah. So he's off tonight. So absolutely. She is a very sweet lady, but she's, um, so, um, we, we're Hispanic and we have these huge families. And so, you know, you know, grandma's, <laughs> she keeps us all together. <laughs> uh, answer Ernie there. What's that? He didn't see them on the website. See what? T-shirts. They're not on the website. That's why he didn't see them. That's exactly why. Yeah. You can send me uh, an email at bedoglures at gmail.com. Tell me what size and what color we use gilding colors. So, but right now I can't find a company that will that'll make them. That'll make them. They they want to make like a thousand at a time, and I want like you know twenty five at a time. Good night, Lindia. Have a blessed evening. Bye. Try to make John behave. Try to outfish him again. Oh wait, you don't have to try. You're just good at it. <laughs> Chris says he needs some too. It's her, his girlfriend that makes the one, the one t-shirts for me at a time. So all he has to do is hand her a t-shirt and say, "Here." Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we've been on an hour and twenty minutes. Are you ready yeah. to go? So if anybody wants to come on live with us, uh, just let Melissa know. And uh, we'll start doing some live feeds and featuring y'all. And y'all will be the feature. And uh, we'll try to help you get more subscribers. Yeah. That's our plan. So uh, try to help everybody grow their channels. So if y'all want to come live, just let Melissa know. Just go to the website. I think you can do it there. Yes. yes. I, I put a new tab on the website under now. And you can go and fill that in and tell us a little bit about your channel. And um, we're going to start doing kind of a shared screen um, interview, I guess is what they would call it. So that should be fun. Uh, cranking. We try to sneak off a lot in the summer and go, but I, it, when I go, I'll put up some videos I never have. Uh, I spend most of my time painting for everybody else. Well, when we started this at the uh, beginning, well, in July of what, 2019? Yeah. No, 2020. July of 2020. So, it's, I mean, it hasn't even been a year, and the, the lakes have been shut down, and yeah. I mean, we haven't. Yeah, they completely closed our lakes off. Uh, yeah. We had an uninterrupted spawn and in before 2020. That, and, uh, before that, we were going all the time, but we weren't filming because he wouldn't let me film any of the paints for the lure, so we weren't filming any of the fishing either. Yeah. We were filming yeah. the cooking, and that was it. So that's going to be a new thing that we add. Yeah. If and when, but we sold the boat and everything, so it's kind of a bummer. Well, now. I got another boat, but we're gonna have to rebuild it, and we're gonna do that together. Uh, I already got a guy that's gonna rebuild the motor for me, so uh, Mr. Joe. And I'm more interested so, in taking the camper and sitting out there and selling fishing lures as people drive by. <laughs> uh, Cranky, there's some pretty good sized bass here. Uh, there's some huge smallmouth here in New Mexico. Oh, Patrick, you're good, buddy. We painted a pretty nice bait. But yes, New Mexico, in Clovis, New Mexico. Yeah. So, you know, the tail end of Tornado Alley and... The start of the blizzard <laughs> season. So... Yep. All the high plains. 
if you get off towards Tucum Carry and it goes straight down. But yeah, I got me a boat and right? we're gonna be rebuilding. It'll be a video project. Uh the guy gave me the boat for free. He was a good friend of mine. Thought it I needed it. So he thought it would be fun to restore it. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna restore it. The video stuff. Uh oh. Why is one side of my lures always better than the other side? That's a really good question. Uh maybe you're not cleaning one side? No. No. He 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 are you using uh stencils on them, Darcy? No cocktail. Glitter party, yep, that's it. <laughs> And see, I always have trouble trying to hand paint them because I'm I'm ambidextrous until it becomes too crass. And yeah, if you gotta switch hands, that may be a, a part of the reason. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm writing, when I first started like painting, I would get one side just perfect. exactly where I wanted it, and the other side I would get off on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it comes with time. And using stands, if you don't have stands, use the stands. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, babe. That would be what I would think. Yeah, I'm still eating get damn hot ass green chili I had for lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm cranking, that's exactly right. <laughs> Two, uh our eyes see it one way and then it's backwards, so you got to be able to flip the bait and paint it from the other side the same as you did the other. I don't flip well. I'd no. probably do better upside down. I used to be terrible, but I've gotten a lot better at it over the years that I've painted now. So I just enjoy painting, you know. And I always I know he's gonna win, so I always paint with crazy stuff. Like for me it's it's not about making money. It's about the time that I can get out here and get out of my stressful world. And you have just, a stressful world. Yes, I do. And just lose lose myself out in the shop, you know, for a day. You don't have a stressful world. You don't work where I work either. And you ain't in charge of what I'm in charge of. As long as you're not so, in charge of me, that's all I care about. No, you're the boss. Mm -hmm. Kind of better it in. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like those stencils that I found, Charlie, because they, um, you're going to hold them on and you can kind of hold them tight. But if you try to put them together and let them sit on the bait, they'll shift. Yeah. On those. Uh, we learned that the hard way. Yeah, I got a bunch of stencils. But I ordered him a whole bunch of different patterns. Well, I fit. got all kinds of damn stencils. Yeah. These are for the rattle traps, right? The ones I just ordered you? Uh, not for that particular style, but yes. These are all 1.5s. These are jerk bait stencils. These are 1.5s here. So. But yeah. But you can't, you can't like pop them together because no. they don't fit together right. You have to, when you put it on, you have to do one side at a time with these. And then flip it and do the other side. And depending on what size needle you're blowing uh, is what, how much your air pressure is going to need to be. So, Yeah. Yeah, if you're using decals like a water slide or something, that is a good thing to do to make the marks. But if you, yeah. I don't know if you can see these, they, when you put them on the bait, they click on. And they're specially cut for the blinks that we have. I think you get eight of them for thirty dollars. Eight different, different yeah. styles. But it works so, better if you just use one side. Yeah, just at a use time. one side and then clean it and then turn it around. Use the other. Yeah, we have loofahs. Yeah. But we enjoyed the the craft store more than the loofah. Yeah, I get a lot of crazy things. He stole the toothbrushes out of the bathroom, too. Yeah. 
Yes, Patrick, you're exactly right. Get lost doing something you love and recenter. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's why he didn't want to um, paint them on camera before. It took me forever to get yeah. into that. Yeah. Uh, Crank and right. I use clips too. Sorry. I use all of that stuff. And then I went to these hoops. And that's how I do my scale patterns now, is with these hoops right here, these embroidery hoops. And I got the scale in there, and I can just lay the lure up there and scale how much I want on it. And I got several different styles for the scales. Sizes. I can just lay it like that. All right. This way? Yeah, and just hold it and paint it. This, so. this one, you can see it's a little bigger. Yeah. It is a uh, wash rag, like yep. a, a dish uh, wash rag. Yeah. We just cut the back off. Cut of it up. Uh, oops. Cut it up, right? Yeah. It looked, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, we have combs. I have some of the weirdest combs you guys have ever seen. I went to the um, hair, I don't know, what do you call it? The beauty supply store that they have. We have a college, a cosmetology college here. And I went over there and I bought weird combs. And they make the coolest patterns. You can find any of them? Oh, yeah, they're all right here. Can I see some of them? I use these a lot. Yeah, those. These are just little, like, bride combs. Yeah, they make good sides, but. And you can use these. Yeah, see this one? That is a weird kind. I got so much crap over here. I don't even know where to <laughs> where it all ends and where it all starts. See, there's another eye water brush in that drawer. Yeah. So. Um, Mike, we sell the um, we sell the stickers on the website. And if you if you put in a, a order of more than a couple of baits. I put one in there for free. Or if um, he does a challenge, we usually send. Yeah. Submits a challenge, and then we'll send you one with your bait. Oh, I bet that did. I bet that did turn out pretty neon yeah, orange with green over it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He has do? that exact comb. Yeah. I bought one that is uh, wood, like a bamboo wood. It is really unusual i don't know where it is but it was i don't know like 40 bucks new and i got it on sale don't tell charlie i spent that much money on a comb no charlie but he likes there. it he uses it all the time <laughs> so when i put the bye who's leaving jen good night jen Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a bunch of crazy patterns that I do. So. And we've had them for so long. Like I said, I mean, we did this a whole lot longer than what we've been yeah. filming. So. Yeah, a lot of times when I'm putting the fin on the gills. Good, cranking. Just get to painting, buddy. Very farts. <laughs> Oh, wow. So, there's a lot of different things people use. I'll actually take like these cards and make a stencil just for that gill mm -hmm. or that fin. You know, it don't have to be perfect. Just I'll just draw it out <laughs> and then cut it out. And then I got me a little stencil. Cool. Yeah, I think I'd rather be out in your boat than I would be in the shop painting. Yeah, not me. Just saying. Both. I want my paint booth on my boat. Okay. The twig rig. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I paint a lot. Cranking. I enjoy it. Uh, I do some crazy paints. 
and a whole lot more than we've even put online because yeah. he talks about stuff that's going on and yeah. then it's outdated because I shoot five or six, seven minutes a day. Yeah. So, my bad. So, uh, this is one of my guilt. Uh, you do that. One of my guild patterns, and that's a stencil that I cut out there. That's a camo. The wrap, yeah. Yeah, orange and green. And the pictures look 3D of that one. I love that one. And you'd be shocked at how many people will actually buy those baits like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, this bait right here, this cicada. Oh, you do that. I hate that camera. That cicada. That's a topwater bait, and boy, that's a seller too. So, right across the top of the water. So it's a weird bug. That's all I know. Yeah, I need to paint some more of those. So, what does he have in his backyard? White pines. Oh, hey, that's yeah, that's, that's a good idea, have, too, Patrick. We have one of those trees not far from here. Yeah, almost be nice to take a, a clump of them things and make you a brush and brush them to we get the squiggly, crazy stuff. So, yeah. That's a good idea, Patrick. Thanks. Creating a monster. Yeah. One gas at a time. Yeah, cranking if we did that too with a, you know, Harbor Freight. Yeah, it would and take me long to throw that sucker away. Yeah, it's like a jitterbug. Um, yeah, I like a jitterbug too. You just got to let your mind start wondering and you'll figure out all kinds of little tricks. Uh, he, he scares me sometimes. He's like, hey, I'll be right back. And I think he's gone somewhere and he's out here. He had come up with some crazy idea. Yeah. I got to go get it out of my head. He comes out here and paints it and then he gets yelled at because he paints it and I didn't get to film it. I have to get it out of my head. I mean, that's Then just... you have to learn how to run a camera. Nope. Nope. If it wasn't for you, wouldn't be no such thing as ugly dog lures. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> yeah so when when we switched uh the compressor i went to hobby lobby and i bought um the spar max the spar max and then yeah. i bought an eye water brush and we actually bought a couple of brushes um, i got several i got neos but my favorite one's hpcs this is mine yeah that he got me for the last challenge that we did trigger and it is the greatest thing ever. I mean, it was what, 169 or something at Hobby Lobby? But it's easier than pushing the button at the top because you just pull the trigger. And I'm a whole lot better with a gun than I am with this. Yeah, Ernie, I do some traditional uh, stuff too, but I like to make some stuff that's off the wall too. Uh, for this purpose? Throw, throw something at them they hadn't seen, you know. For this purpose, for the channel and whatnot, the that is what we enjoy seeing most is the crazy stuff you come up yeah. with. Yeah. Do you like that trigger? Yes. It, when I can get it to work, the the settings on it. Oh, this I fixed it. Um, on the back end here. That gesture trigger. It was messed up, so Charlie had to adjust it for me. Yeah. Oh, I, I really do. I paint some kind of off the wall stuff. Sorry, I'll be up there. Yeah, Patrick, it would add a little bit of weight to it and might not make it run true. That'd be something we'll have to play with and see. That's a pretty good idea. But I can actually add this pigment to the epoxy. And change the color of the epoxy too. So uh, and that's a future 
video we'll we'll put out. I like playing with stuff that's crazy. So. I'll, I'll let her know, Darcy. She said hello. I guess tomorrow night uh, we're probably going to take all the family out to dinner and uh, have birthday for that boy. Sorry. I had to go get my appendage back. Yep. Good. He didn't do anything to it. He always plays on my phone. Yep. I know. <laughs> Okay, where are we here? Um, well, we've been through all that already. Oh, have you? Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I kind of like to throw different stuff at them. There's been a lot of times in my illustrious fishing career that I couldn't get nothing to bite anything except if it had a white body and a red head. I have done that a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't read that one. The bait you painted tonight. Those run dead true. Yeah. That S cranker. Some. I love the S crank. That's my favorite hard bait. Is the S crank. You know it'll run. Between three to seven feet. It's called an S crank. Ernie? I don't know why either. I never could figure out when I was trying to put all this stuff on the website. Getting the names of it's it right. It's called an S because it hooks here and it hooks up here. So, Or you could turn it up like this and say it was a was a redneck bait because it's got that fat belly and them little skinny legs. But yeah, it just needs a mullet. We'll let him know, Ron. <laughs> but yeah, that's an S crank, Ernie. You can get them foiled. You can get them a whole lot of different ways. I may order some foiled ones. You just paint the top, put a little bit on the belly, and be done with them. Yeah, it has a really weird tail. See, on the others, it's either right on the back here or down here. This and this one top. is up the top. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm an S crank fan. See how weird it is? Love them. Love, 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 love. They do. The chrome S cranks. Uh, Sugar Ted has them. And S cranks? Mm hmm. Oh, I didn't see those. Not crank, honey. Hello. How are you tonight? <clears throat> he's going to touch it and it's going to have a scuff and then no. he's going to yell at me. I'm not. <laughs> oh, He's yeah. going to be all grumpy. There she is. Right I don't away. know. That's tonight's paint. Clear belly. Glitter. I can't ever get this thing right. I just put him an orange, a little bit of orange right under his chin. Mm-hmm. The shadow running lip. No, mm -hmm. not in that style. Thank you. We're doing pretty good too. He can't make them, so he buys them. Really? Yeah, the S crank. Really? The, the holographic. Yeah. Do you know I found Wigglers the other day, Ron? Just like you're making, maybe a little bit smaller for twenty eight dollars a blank. Yeah, I told him. Mm -mm. He can make a lot of Yeah, he can. A lot of books. I like doing them. Yeah. They're so pretty and they're so different. Yeah. It's one of my favorite blanks to paint. That and the two point five square bill. So Yep. I like the weights in the S crank because it has the yeah. bigger, heavier yeah. front end. Yeah, and it's not going to dive all that deep. <laughs> his his little gully right here. This is the big old. He's got balls. 
You tell me I can use that word. Yeah. That's what it is. Lead bowl. Yep, yeah, one of my favorite baits. That and jerk baits. Yeah, see? 28 bucks. And it was smaller than the one you sent me painted. So we, what we use are watermarks, yeah, but I'm watermarks right. are, uh, you print them on the special paper and then you spray uh, like a clear coat over the top of them. And what I did was I sprayed it really thick thinking that, you know, it needed it. And so they're too thick. So I'm going to have to get more and do more. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, and it just, you get it wet and it slides the clear coat and the words right off of the paper. That's why mm -hmm. they call it a water slide. And then you stick it onto the lure. No glue or anything needed. It's um, kind of a section based. And then once it dries, it stays on. So, yeah. 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 I know a lot of guys. Uh, there's quite a bit of history mm -hmm. around here, Darcy. Yeah, we have well, black, black water draw. Not anymore, but we used to have Clovis Man was the oldest known inhabitant of the U.S. Yeah. Um, lands, and they found somebody that was older than Clovis Man. So, but we have you know the college, and we have Black Water Draw, and we have a bunch of stuff that tells all about it because he's still the second oldest. Norman Petty, you know, studios. Yeah, we have music yeah. Um, yeah. background here, so. We have the Norman Five Petty uh, recording studios here. And so we have the music museum and, you know, we had Buddy Holly and, and all that group come in here and record when they recorded their records, they were all recorded here. And yes. So we have music festivals so, and we have, we have neat stuff. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of guys cranking that use a Sharpie steel. Mm-hmm. Yep. Everybody Sharp. gets Connie. Paint pen. Honey, use whatever's available. Yeah, one of these days I may do a, you know, tour Clovis, drive around, kind of show some stuff around here. I'll probably do it for my other channel and share it on here. Yeah, you could do that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Seven pounder. That's nice. Man, I guarantee you I wish that I lived closer to water. I would probably be out there every day. Yeah, we need to live like right on the water though, because then he would never leave. But then he'd never pay paint. So it's kind of a catch twenty two. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Franken, <laughs> you know how many years that my wife's accused me of having John Deere disease? Twenty six of them. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna tell you. It's when your ass is so tight, they couldn't pull a dime out of it with a John Deere tractor. And then so, some. I'm cheap, just like you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we thought we were saving so much money and that, you know, it would work. It would work and it just, it worked, but for, you know, what was it? A little while. A hundred dollars more, we got. Well, a couple of hundred more. Well, if we had what we spent on the compressors and the guns at harbor freight if we had invested it at yeah. hobby lobby yeah we wouldn't have been yeah. there yet we had started the right way <laughs> yeah so yeah i tell you what i just you know i just enjoy painting it's just what i do and I guess I enjoy being mean because I'm awfully good at it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I stopped trying to be nice a long time ago. It just backfires. Every time I try to be nice, it backfires on me. Yep, it does. So now I'm honest up front, very blunt. Yep. At least if I'm mean, then they are surprised when I'm nice. So let me ask all you fishing guys a question. What's with the red hook on the front of the baits now you know because i've been thinking about that i've been seeing a lot of that that one color on one i think it's just somebody and then creative have a red like hook you. on the front somebody creative like you started doing it as a thing and it just became a thing 
Uh, Crane County, we'll plug your channel every time we're on. Every Thursday night, we'll start plugging everybody's channels. Yeah, I, uh, I made some I want to help y'all get more support. So. And I'm going to start switching between them. Yeah. So, help everybody get more supporters. Mm hmm So, absolutely. You're very welcome. Yeah, I meant to switch those off, and I got sidetracked, so. Yeah. yeah. I wish there was a setting where it would kind of go through them. Yeah, and just rotate through. Yeah. But there's not. But there's not, so. <laughs> so, we want to help you all we can. So. Yeah, because people have been supporting us and helping us, and we want to. We want to pass it on. Yeah, pay it forward. Yeah. We certainly do. <laughs> Okay, we done? I think we done. we're going to call it a night. We done. Let's go back to the comments in case we got a few to answer. So. They mimic blood. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree with that. It's just somebody being creative that started doing that, and then everybody kind of picked it up and started doing that and just made it a thing. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to be doing any of that, but... It's possible I might do one or two. I mean, you put the colors under the, yeah. you know, the chin, I guess. Is chin. Not yeah. that they have the a throat. chin. Throat. <laughs> Called the throat. But, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, Cranking, if you want to come on and be live with us on Thursday, let me know. Uh, Crank Honey, we'd be glad to have you, New Hope, anybody here with the YouTube channel. Yeah, his song is freaking hilarious. I'm kind of scared. I'm I'm a little worried to watch the song. Don't be scared. It's not that bad. It when you some shit like I come up with, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Right. I have a barbecue song. I like pork butts, and I cannot lie. <laughs> so. It's better when he dances to it. Yeah. <laughs> Get that one leg shuffle going on. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's scary. It's yeah. So scary. So I think I'm going to take the wife out to dinner. Yeah. But I will go and listen to the song. Yeah. And uh, I will comment on it because I'll be watching it on my phone. So, and if you guys, uh, you know, we try to, to go back and comment on everything, but we usually watch everything on the TV. And YouTube's app on the TV doesn't let you comment. So. Yeah, I, I watch a lot of them on my phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, be every Thursday at 6, Mountain Standard Time. Yeah, we're going to make it a thing. It's so, an every week thing. Even if we have to be on our phone, wherever we are, yeah. we're going to be on. You have a blessed evening, too, and we hope to see you again. New Hope, good night. Mm -hmm. Bye. So we'll catch you all later. <laughs> it's hard to get called. Yes. We know. Very hard. I'm not try. Mm-hmm. Actually, we might do that when you get your new one. We may, we may pass that along. Yeah. I will be glad to send you one, Darcy. Yeah, we'll see you next week for sure. Yeah. And Ernie, if you have more questions for him, um, send an email to uglydoglures at gmail.com. And uh, one of us will get the email and uh, we'll send it on to him and let him answer your questions. And that way you're not missing out. Yeah, absolutely. Stairway, good night. I, I'm sorry I didn't ask how you was feeling. How's your leg doing? And how everything's going in Canada with all the lockdown and yeah. the, that stuff's scary. I mean, the news is scary. I don't know if it's really like that. But. We think about you every time we see the news and hope that your family is safe. And yes. Not in the midst of all of that. But um, we are going to head out, guys. And uh, we will see you next Thursday. We'll have an episode out Saturdays and Mondays. Yeah, so. got a got a challenge coming out Saturday. Yeah. Be on the lookout for that. And we will go ahead. We'll catch you later. There we go. <laughs> Bye now.